boys and girls, it's story time. Today we are continuing with Where the Sidewalk Ends, the poems and drawings of Shel Silverstein. We will be starting today on page 50 through 65. The Googies are coming. The Googies are coming, the old people say, to buy little children and take them away. Fifty cents for fat ones, twenty cents for lean ones, fifteen cents for dirty ones, thirty cents for clean ones, a nickel each for mean ones. The Googies are coming, and maybe tonight, to buy little children and lock them up tight. Eighty cents for husky ones, quarter for the weak one, penny each for noisy ones, a dollar for the meek ones. Forty cents for happy ones, eleven cents for sad ones. And kitties, when they come to buy, it won't do any good to cry, but just between yourself and I, they never buy the bad ones. For sale. One sister for sale. One sister for sale. One crying and spying young sister for sale. I'm really not kidding. So, who'll start the bidding? Do I hear a dollar? A nickel? A penny? Oh, isn't there, isn't there, isn't there any one kid who will buy this old sister for sale? This crying and spying young sister for sale. Sleepy Sardines I'm tired of eating just beans, says I. So, I open a can of sardines. But they started to squeak. Hey! We're trying to sleep. We were snuggled up tight till you let in the light. You big silly sap, let us finish our nap. Now close up the lid, so that's what I did. Will somebody please pass the beans? One inch tall. If you were only one inch tall, you'd ride a worm to school. The teardrop of a crying ant would be your swimming pool. A crumb of cake would be a feast and last you seven days at least. A flea would be a frightening beast if you were one inch tall. If you were only one inch tall, you'd walk beneath the door. And it would take about a month to get down to the store. A bit of fluff would be your bed. you swing upon a spider's thread. And wear a thimble on your head if you were one inch tall. You'd surf across the kitchen sink upon a stick of gum. You couldn't hug your mama, you'd just have to hug her thumb. You'd run from people's feet in fright. To move a pen would take all night. This poem took 14 years to write, because I'm just one inch tall. Enter this deserted house. But please walk softly as you do. Frogs dwell here and crickets too. Ain't no ceiling, only blue jays dwell here and sunbeams too. Floors are flowers, take a few. Ferns grow here and daisies too. Whoosh, swoosh, to it, to woo. Bats dwell here and hoot owls too. Ha, 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 he, he, ho, ho, ho. Gnomes dwell here and goblins too. And my child, I thought you knew, I dwell here and so do you. Sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks, I've counted 16 chicken pots, and there's one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue, it might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button's caving in. My back is wrenched. My ankle sprain. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold. My toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff. My voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow's bent, my spine ain't straight, my temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is, what? What's that? What's that, you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. Upstairs. 
There's a family of wrens who live upstairs, 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 inside my hat, all cozy in my hair, my hair, my hair. I've moved a dozen times and still there, 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 there. I'd like to get away from them. But where, but where, but where? This hat just isn't big enough to share, to share, to share. But now I see you're bored and you don't care, don't care, don't care about the wrens who live inside my hair, my hair, my hair. The Garden Old man Simon planted a diamond, grew himself a garden the likes of none. Sprouts all growing, coming up glowing, fruits of jewels all shining in the sun. Colors of the rainbow, see the sun and the rain grow sapphires and rubies on ivory vines. Grapes of jade just ripening in the shade, just ready for the squeezing into green jade wine. Pure gold corn there, blowing in the warm air, old crow nibbling on the amethyst seeds. In between the diamonds, old man Simon crawls about pulling out platinum weeds. Pink pearl berries, all you can carry. Put them in a bushel and haul them into town. Up in the tree, there's opal nuts and gold pears. Hurry, quick, grab a stick and shake some down. Take a slivel tater, emerald tomato, fresh plump curl melons hanging in reach. Old man Simon, digging in his diamonds, stops and rests and dreams about one real peach. Jumping rope. This started out as a jumping rope. You probably think that I'm a dope. But this started out as a jumping rope, and now I feel there is no hope. But this started out as a jumping rope. Who? Who can kick a football from here to Afghanistan? I can't. Who fought tigers in the street while the policemen ran and hid? I did. Who will fly and have x-ray eyes and be known as a man no bullet can kill? I will. Who will sit and tell lies all night? I might. Ridiculous Rose. Her mama said, don't eat with your fingers. Okay, said Ridiculous Rose. So she ate with her toes. Where the sidewalk ends. There is a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white. And there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow. And watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow. And we'll go where the chalk white arrows go. For the children they mark and the children they know the place where the sidewalk ends. Snowman. Twas the first day of the springtime, and the snowman stood alone as the winter snows were melting, and the pine trees seemed to groan. Ah, you poor, sad, smiling snowman. You'll be melting by and by, said the snowman. What a pity, for I'd like to see July. Yes, I'd like to see July, and please don't ask me why, but I'd like to, yes, I'd like to, oh, I'd like to see July. Chirped a robin just arriving. Seasons come and seasons go, and the greatest ice must crumble when its flowers time to grow. And as one thing is beginning, so another thing must die, and there's never been a snowman who has ever seen July. No, they never see July, no matter how hard they try. No, they never, ever, never, ever, never see July. But the snowman sniffed his carrot nose and said, At least I'll try. And he bravely smiled his frosty smile and blinked his coal black eye. And there he stood and faced the sun, a blazing from the sky. And I really cannot tell you, if he ever saw July. Did he ever see July? You can guess as well as I. If he ever, if he never, if he ever saw July.
Okay, boys and girls, join me next time for our continuation of Where the Sidewalk Ends, the poems and drawings of Shel Silverstein. Our next section will cover 66 through 79. Until then, take care.